if you're a student or researcher then come closer because in this video i'm going to introduce you to a tool an ai tool that can help you speeding up your research so let's say you're coming into a topic you don't have a lot of ideas about that topic this ai tool is going to help you in your literature review help you search for important papers and also aid you in your draft i do not recommend you to use ai to write completely but using the ai tool i'm going to show you can help you speeding up your research get the papers you need quickly and get important research information without wasting a lot of time talking about time let's not waste any more of it let me show you what this tool can do so guys answer this is one of the best ai research tool that i have ever used now i'm going to tell you why with answer this you are going to find the right papers in seconds also it makes literature review very simple thirdly with answer this you are able to get the full research picture before you even get started and also you are able to spot gaps and connections you would have missed answer this also helps you in your citation and also help you make citation maps to dig even deeper in this video i'm going to show you some use cases but first let me sign in into my account when you log into your answer this account you're going to come onto this clean interface where you can already start asking questions for example you can easily type in a research question right here or you could easily drag a pdf file or a paper right here and query that pdf so you can ask questions to that pdf and get answers from whatever paper you are trying to look at on the left hand menu you are going to find the different tools within answer this for example you can start a new query to ask any question you can also use the ai writer to get a literature review draft and you can see library where you can see stored papers you have uploaded to answer this and also you can search for papers we're going to look at this just in a moment another important feature is the citation map which can help you build a map on papers that are important for your particular research if you click on tools you can see the tools right here that are available inside answer this we have the naturalizer which is an ai tool for creating comprehensive literature review with citation testing we have the ai essay writer but one amazing tool for researcher is the research gap finder and we're going to try this just in a moment with this tool you are able to discover unexplored research opportunities and here we have the ai paraphraser tool which can be used to paraphrase your sentences to make them clearer so guys right now let's use the search papers tool i'm going to click on that and it takes me to this interface right here where i can do my search to get all relevant papers i need okay guys right here i'm going to put in these keywords anthropogenic impact on climate change so that is basically the impact of man on climate change then i'm going to click on the search button but before i do that just take a look at the search filter so we can expand the search filter and here we can do some adjustment for example we want only papers that have a minimum citation of maybe you can see right here three or we can we can make it a paper that has a minimum citation of six and then you can also set the database you want to search from as in this case we only want to search papers but we could actually change the settings to choose particular databases so let's just include everything right here including problems or let's just leave it like this and then we can also check if we want web search i'm just going to leave that out and other sources if i want my library if i have papers already on my library i could also want them to be included you can also set the journal quality you want papers from in this case we have included or or you could change it to journals with q4 but let's just leave it at all another important feature is publication date so right here you could change the start and the end date within which we want papers from so i think this is very important in case you need really old papers or you need recently published papers so whichever case this can help you get what you need and once you are done with the feature settings then you want to hit on submit search and right here you can see we have our results so there are some papers right here that i can explore i can save them i can chat with the papers get more information before i read the paper in cases where you are looking for particular keywords 
you can charge the paper to know if those keywords are present before you decide to read the entire paper so answer this is going to help you achieve all of these so you can see we have a lot of interesting papers right here that we can start to explore and when you find a paper that you want to read or you're interested in you can easily click on the name of the paper right here and this is going to open a new tab that will take you to the page where you can read the papers you can see right here you can also decide to export the papers that you've gotten for example you could mark some of them so you can see right here you can select some of them and then you could export to csv or you could explore or you could export to bib test there are a whole lot of other things that you could actually do with this tool so right now let's go into the gap finder to explore it a bit so i'm going to click on the research gap finder and the first thing you can notice is that they have some guidelines for you right here how to get the best results so make sure to read through you have to be specific about your research and you have to include if you are looking for interdisciplinary gaps and you have to mention the fit that you're looking for that gap in let's quickly try out an example so i'm just going to put in right here effect of microplastics on marine ecosystem i don't know what to expect but this is the first time i'm trying out this particular aspect so i don't really know what to expect so let's click on the search button and let's see what we get so what i can see is that it is initializing so it's going to do a lot of search of course but i think if we include more keywords then it's going to be better but in this case this is just a test so let's just wait to see what it comes up with so guys after the first query there seems to be a lot of papers already on this topic and for the results we have a lot of literature review done so it talks about a lot of aspects right here and at the bottom we can see management knowledge gaps and research needs and here we have despite growing awareness and policy interventions to reduce single-use plastics gaps in wastewater management infrastructure and regulatory frameworks impaired effective mitigation and you can see there are some sources right here standardized methodologies for monitoring detection and toxicity assessments are critical for consistent evaluation there is a pressing need for advances in detection techniques better understanding of long-term ecological effects and the development of biodegradable alternatives in addition to effective waste management strategies so these are some gaps that it is also revealing so the ethical way to continue would be to look at these papers it has referenced and make sure to read and understand the gap that has been explained in those papers so if you click on any of them right now for example number 17 you can see to the right hand side it's going to take you to the particular paper and you can see this is a very recent paper 2025 and you want to look at this particular paper read through and see how the gap is mentioned or the gaps that were mentioned within this paper or the future research suggestions so with that you're able to know if this is actually accurate and one thing you can also do is to continue to chat with the results by asking follow-up questions as you can see through this part and this can help you streamline the gaps so that you get to a point where you are clear of what you want to do but like i said do not take out the part where you have to read the paper by yourself you have to make sure you read and understand the gaps within these particular references that has been mentioned within this gap analysis but i believe you agree with me that this can be a very fast way to get to your gap without spending a lot of time and a lot of efforts if you agree with me let me know in the comment section and if you disagree also let me know in the comment section what you think however overall i think this is a very great tool to get started so guys also let me know in the comment section if you got any value from this video do not forget to hit the like button if you got any value and subscribe for more amazing tools if you want to try out answer this then make sure to use my link in the youtube video description and check out for my coupon code to get a discount the link and the coupon code would also be in the comment section bye for now and i will see you in my next video